waiting on a new chess base 17 video well here it is and so what are we going to talk about this video so for this video here i had a question in the comments about when you search for uh tactics or training by maneuver how can you save that database to go to that maneuver instead of starting at the beginning of the game so let me show you what i'm talking about here all right, so we go up here to Megabase uh, 2023. We're going to right click. We're going to right click and click, uh, where is that? Search. But well, we're going to go to advance. All right. So let's go here. Let's clear this for a second. Let's hit reset. Let's just say um, I'm going to pick an example because, again, this is a very complicated screen here. You'd have to spend a lot of time on the screen to figure out um, how to efficiently use it. But what Chessbase has done is added these examples. So we're going to use an example to make the speed this video up. But you should also use examples yourself to learn how to better use this tab under the advanced search options. We're going to go to examples and we're going to go to Rook double check. When you highlight this and you notice up here in this white box, there's nothing for right now. If you hit OK. Bam, it puts all of these params in. That looks kind of weird the first time you look at it. But if you learn how to use this tab and go through it, it looks like it kind of makes sense. So with that said, um, we're not going to go into exactly what these symbols mean. I made a video on that before. And if you got any questions, please put them in the comment. But we're just going to move forward now. So once you have this set, it's best that when you come in here to do something like this, always hit the reset here first. So that way you won't potentially have any issues. So when you hit OK, you're going to come back to this. And then um, sometimes let's say zero games found. Uh, let's just hit search anyways and um, see what happens here. I guess uh, nothing happens. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so it's actually searching now. So let me bring the screen down here into, into um, existence here. All right. And um, as you'll see, the game is populating. It may take a few minutes. And um, I think in this, I've, I've tested this data set already. I think it has about 100 and maybe 38 or 128 games, something like that. And um, once we get this, I will show you what the goal is to do with this database. So I may just go ahead and speed this part of the video up to go ahead and get through it. Because over here, as you can see where it says stop process here, it's actually running and searching through the 2023 mega database. All right, so everything just finished. Um, as you can see here, let's see how many games we have. We have uh, 134 games, so I was wanting to far. So let's just click the first game, let me show you. Let me give you an example here. Say if now when you hit this game here, it goes to this maneuver and, and now if you hit the arrow key or however you want to move the piece you see that in fact the next move is a rook with double check because the bishop is on b2 now let me let me show you what the goal is here if you take this and if you um hit control a right we're going to go back to the main chess base screen Back to the back to the main chess base screen. And we're going to create a test database. Let's hit new database. We're just going to call it test. Um, I'm going to just put MOV. All right, hit create new. And inside of this right here, we're just going to go here, highlight it down here where it's blanket, and hit control V to paste those games. And as you can see now, when you open this first game, it opens it on the first move so um let me just downsize this a little bit make sure you can see everything clearly here is that good enough in the screen uh, that's good enough you get the point it starts on the first move so we close this just pick any other like say we pick the next game mckenzie versus graves it, it, and even then we just look over here in the satellite board to the right of the screen it starts with the first move now let's go back to the other um, 
this is the generated list. As you see, when you click the game, it starts at the tactic. You see, for example, McKenzie versus Grave, you just do one click, it goes straight to that tactic. So how can we save this database? So it will go to this tactic. Well, there is a workaround and it won't be exactly like this game database is here procured, but it will be the next best thing. And in fact, you may even get slightly more out of it. So let me show you what to do. So you just highlight any one of these games, but with a single click and hit control A. And now you hit, now you right click and you go down here to harvest training material. Click that. And what will happen is that it'll load Stockfish and it'll search for tactics and, and get this. It's, it's going to actually um, present training questions throughout. This is pretty cool. So we're going to call this um, Harvest Database Test, which is a simple name. Hit create. And um, for this amount of games, it's going to take, I guess, about six, seven, eight minutes or so. It says nine minutes, but I think it's going to go a little bit faster than that. So as you can see, it just hopped down to six minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and speed this part of the video up. So just sit back. This will only take a few seconds when I speed it up to get right down to the nitty gritty. All right, so we're finished now. So let's take a look at the new database that we have made here. Let me get everything in the screen here. So as you see here, um, if you see uh, the first game is Anderson, where you see it's gray, it shows the original game. But if you go below that, you see the two black, uh, blackened names. That's the game that it has tactics in. It's like the McKenzie game is gray here. Well, it's kind of lined out, but it's like the full game, but then the tactic follows. So let's go here to Anderson. And if we go to the next one, we will see that it starts at the tactic, but it's saying enter a move and it shows you the solution, but that ain't how this database works. So if you double click it, what happens here is that it actually, uh, let me, let me get everything in the screen here so you can see everything quite good here. It actually, let me give me a second here, guys. Let me. Okay, so when you do it this way, what happens is that this thing here pops up and says enter move for white and it gives you five minutes. So in this case, obviously, this is going to be checked and that's correct. And if you hit continue, um, it'll just show you that you entered the correct move for white. But you go to the, you can either hit load the next game right here. And it goes to the next part of the puzzle. And of course, if you go here, this here is the correct move because that double check. And then once the king take rook to G1 would be check mate. If you hit continue, it just shows that. So now I think that's the end of this puzzle. Because if you hit load the next game, it goes straight to the gray McKenzie game. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See right here. But if you go here, if you want to see the actual McKenzie puzzle, it would be the next one. But what you can do in this database here, let me show you what you can do. Oh, well, let's click the next, go ahead, look at the solution. Obviously it would be this right here because the next move is made and there's really nothing you can do about that. And um, again, the, the game that's in gray, again, it's showing the full game. As you can see here, it's in gray with uh, Toolish and Castro. That's the one we're on. That's highlighted with the blue lines right here. The next two that's a black and not a, are again are the tactical puzzles but what you could do in this database let me show you is take certain games and remove them out of this database here again this is not going to be exactly um if you for example compare this right here to the database from here it won't be exact if you compare th these games here to this database here for example it won't be exactly a one-to-one -one match, but you still will have those generalized tactics inside of these positions here. So let's take a look at another one here. 
Let's just pick a random one here. Let's go to Khan and Corey. I think there's Courtney. Let's just do that. So what is the... And again, don't forget, the reason why we keep getting the same puzzle over and over again is because we pick Rook with a double check. And this, and then you might wonder, why would you want to build a database like this? Say if you are a student, I mean a teacher or an instructor, and you want to drill some students, you can make a database like this and continuously drill these students. Or maybe you want to find a particular tactical motif for yourself, make that database and train yourself on that tactical motif. So here, obviously it'll be this here. And I'll load, oh, right here it just says load next game. And then it's, uh, we would go here, that'll be it. Load next game. And then um, it's going straight to, oh, okay, I didn't notice here. Let's see. It says Rook with double check. Wow. I guess you would go here first, right? Yeah, because you want to hit the double check, hit load next game. Um. I guess you would go here. That's correct. So next game. Then you would want to go here. Not the best move. Okay, let's hit try again. What would be a double check here with the rook? Hmm. Oh yeah, you would have to go here like this. Correct. Load next game. Yeah. So if you hit load next game in this screen here, it actually skips over. That's why it's lined out. For example, I just discovered that. You see how it's lined out right here? If you click next game on the actual solution uh, training tab right here, it actually skips to the actual next training part without stopping at that game. So anyway, this is a way to make that tactical database from maneuvers. Again, it, it's not going to be exactly like the maneuvers database that you make when you very first search, but it'd be very, very close. And in fact, you might can tailor it to be even better. So anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. You guys take care and I'll see you in the next one.